So yeah, uh, my motor has finally burned out. I was doing some testing and I had some comments on, uh, one guy wanted to know what I run. And this is just an inside look at how I got everything set up. Here's my radio, old Red Cat. This is just an old Red Cat uh, 23S brushed ESC. A shout out to Void. If he's he's really how I got how I got it and when I picked it up. I watched his videos. Uh, I just kind of made my own way. I think he used a full servo. I used a smaller servo that fit perfect. Um, random oil field shocks. Uh, I think these are for the Willy toy. These are random from Banggood. Uh, they're oil, oil field shocks. Uh, original gears and stock transmission, stock gearing. That's my 390 airplane motor. Uh, got from Hobbytown. It's about two years old, just burned up. Uh, just burned her up. That's what I've been doing. I was testing the, uh, just to make sure. Uh, I was sure it was coming. It's, it was slowing down on 2S, and I just wanted to kick it up, maybe see what happened. So it did, it did a lot longer than I thought it would. I'm going to freshen it up. Here's, here's how I mounted my receiver. I see I got the stock, I got the stock servo mount with the high tech Mighty Mini, full ball bearing, MHS-225MG, and I mount just a, uh, just a little piece of modeling board right here, just so this is flat. Um, the switch, uh, I use the M3 tape I think off Harley Designs back when they had done the honcho build. I, I picked that stuff up. It's, it's amazing. I've used it on my winch, on my barrage. Uh, you wouldn't believe it, but you, you have to cut it off. It ain't going to come off. These, these shocks right here come with the metal ends. They're no good. They're longer. you don't get as much travel. It takes out that much travel. So just take your original shock hoops off and put the plastic ones back on. You'll get a lot better travel out of. I played with all the grease. Right now I've just got open discs, uh, grease in the rear, uh, pretty tight grease in the front. If any questions, uh, just let me know. I'm gonna not put the China motor in. I've had this China motor in my little bag. I guess I've had it maybe, I don't know, two years, something like that, year and a half, two years. I went, was impatient waiting. I went to Hobby Town and they hooked me up with the airplane motor that's been really awesome i've had it in here i've i've not had to mess with it and, and i knew it was coming it's it's had some beatings but these are my goodie bags 
I've just accumulated over the years. So I don't don't really need uh, extra parts. I mean, there's the transmission, the plastic front drive shafts. They're, stay away from the metal ones. Rear drive shaft. More plastics. They're, they're cool. Probably last for a year or longer. Uh, transmission. Rear and this bag. Just plastic housing. That was my first first rebuild. Uh, just took the guts out, and put it back in the old one. Oh, what else is in here? Old parts. I keep all the old parts. Let's see, that's bad. I got it labeled. But yeah, uh, it's the easiest thing there is to work on. Me get the front diff out two more screws and it pops out. You can do whatever you want. So we'll be down until I'm gonna get to Asheville. I got the, the buddy of my, my dad's friend flies for over 30 years and he turned me on to this servo and I let my batteries die on my, get low on my radio. And it started quaking out. So this has been a really good servo. I'm, beat it up for over a year and yeah. it's taken abuse the plastic horn that comes with it it's heavy duty uh, just had the screw backed out the other day and uh, just put it back in hey anyway that's about it next time you see I'll have the uh, motor new motor I'm gonna go ahead and freshen up the gearbox the gears are just starting to wear like sharp the bearings are good and everything's good but I'm going to change it out for a whole new year i guess i don't know we'll see stay tuned for more